guys, General Turney here, your host, and welcome back, my friends, to another late night upload on the channel. It is currently 1 a.m. in the morning here inside of London, but we are uploading the second video of the day, guys. So, uh, hopefully, you do enjoy it. So, the other day, we uploaded a video onto the YouTube channel showing every single one of you how to use the War Wrecker inside of COC, guys. Well, today, my friends, we are going to be showing you how to use the Battle Blimp. This is the three star. Town Hall 10s, Town Hall 11s, and Town Hall Level 12s. Now, believe it or not, guys, although the War Wrecker and the Battle Blimp are, of course, both Siege Machines, there is a different technique to using each one of them. So we're about to get ourselves into our first live attack. We are going to be using a Battle Blimp for, of course, our, uh, our attacks, guys. So we are going to remove the Siege Machines. There we go. And the Battle Blimps are now inside of our, uh, our actual workshop. So... Let's do this first live attack. It's about to start. We are going to be using an air attack strategy. Electro dragons, minions, baby dragons, healers, and of course some balloons. We've got balloons inside of the battle blimp. Seven of them with a rage spell. And then the spells we're using are four rage spells, two free spells, a poison. And finally the grand warden is going to be set to air, guys. So let's do this. Let's get ourselves into live attack number one. Now we're going to try and find ourselves either A a Town Hall 12 or B, a maxed out Town Hall 11. So whichever one we find first, we will be taking on. Do not forget if you are new to the channel, my name's General Tony. We are one of the last remaining COC YouTubers, guys. So uh, make sure you subscribe, join the family, and let me know any videos you want to see, any challenges, anything whatsoever that you want to see on the channel down below in that comment section, guys. But for now, stay tuned. We'll be back in a couple of moments' time. Let's see if we can find ourselves a Town Hall 12 opponent. Okay, so here we go, guys. We've landed on a Town Hall 12. It took ages to find this base. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to select the Battle Blimp, locate the Town Hall. There it is. You want to make sure you can see the Air Sweepers, guys. And what you basically want to do is send in the Battle Blimp at the end once you've dropped in the rest of your air troops, guys. Now, we're going to just drop down this Archer Queen here. She's going to funnel all these buildings and make her way to the right-hand side. I'm going to use a baby dragon over here to make sure the queen doesn't go down. Drop in a rage spell to keep this queen alive as she drops all these defenses. Now, it is very important, guys, before sending in the battle blimp and, of course, those electro dragons to create a funnel using your troops. So I'm going to use some minions to clear these buildings. A baby dragon's going to take out that archer tower, guys. We're going to use another minion. Oh, the baby dragon was actually distracted. Let's send in another one just to kill the archer tower. There it goes. And the minions are going to clear those buildings, guys. So now we've cleared the buildings. We are going to drop in the king on this corner. We're going to use the king's ability very soon, guys. Just hold back a second before we use the king's ability. And uh, there it goes. King's ability is used. There goes a poison spell on the defending CC. And now here come those Electro Dragons. There goes the Grand Warden. And we're going to send in the Battle Blimp very shortly, guys. Check it out. There goes a Rage Spell. There goes a Battle Blimp. There goes a Queen's Ability. And these troops are about to make their way into the base, guys. So what you want to do, you want to drop and activate the Battle Blimp nice and early. Use the Grand Warden's Ability to actually save the troops in the Battle Blimp from dying, and then drop another rage spell right in the center on those balloons, guys. So check it out, we almost managed to take out that Inferno Tower. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to take it down, so let's drop a free spell on it and see if the Electro Dragons can take it out, guys. There goes another free spell, Electro Dragons making their way in towards the Inferno Tower. Also doing a little bit of splash damage to the rest of those defenses, guys. Now, unfortunately, we haven't managed to pick up a triple star, but can we still get a one star? Sorry, a two star. Let's find out. There is still plenty of buildings left around the map, guys. But we've got the Electro Dragon doing the splash damage. Do we have enough power to take it out? It looks like the Grand Warden is the one taking the damage there. Here we go, Electro Dragon swinging in towards that Eagle Artillery. We're going to use the Baby Dragon down the bottom. And there, finally goes the eagle artillery guys so as you can see from this raid the way to use the battle blimp is to make sure you actually drop in the balloons nice and early and make sure the actual grand warden can protect the balloons once they drop in guys you don't want to drop them and leave them on their own to get slaughtered by air mines air bombs and of course air defenses so let's try it again except this time let's use a different army so 
Let me collect that loot bonus. We're gonna request ourselves some more balloons. And what I'm gonna do this time, guys, check it out. We're gonna be using a different strategy. We are not gonna be using the Electro Dragon. So let me gem up the army. This is the army we are gonna be using. It is five wall breakers, 14 balloons, maybe a bit too much, but I'm not too sure, guys. Now, I don't know if this army's gonna work, but it's definitely gonna be fun. Six dragons, five baby dragons, and some minions, with, of course, a battle blimp, seven max loons in the CC. Now we just need to gem ourselves the heroes, guys. So there is the Grand Warden, there is the Archer Queen, and there is the Barbarian King. So, let me just say thank you. For the troops, of course, always be polite, guys. Manners cost nothing. So we've got the heroes, the troops, the CC, and of course the battle blimp. Let's do this, guys. We've also got an extra rage spell inside of our clan castle. So here we go, live attack number two. Can we somehow manage to pull up a triple star, guys? Now let me try and show you a little bit in more detail. Okay, so here we go, guys. We have landed on this base. Now, we are gonna select the battle blimp. There we go. We're gonna locate the town hall. There it is, guys. You want to make sure you can see the air sweepers as well. They are both facing the south side of the base. Now, what I'm going to try and do, I want to make the best funnel possible. So I'm actually going to try and get my heroes into this base somehow, guys, and make a nice little funnel. So we're going to start off with the baby dragon up the top. I am going to be using a baby dragon off to this side over here as well. There we go. So we got two baby dragons in so far, guys. The one at the top is not going to be able to take out that archer tower. But if we drop in another one... Oh, no. We just wasted that, guys. That sucks. Okay, can it take out that barrack at least? No, it can't. That, that, really, that really sucks. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So what I'm going to do... This is actually a really tricky base, guys. But we're going to go for this nonetheless. So we are going to make a funnel with the king here. He's going to take out these buildings, guys. We're going to drop these buildings here with the minions. And I actually want this king to go in towards a cannon. Perfect. Okay. So there goes those wall breakers. He's going to make a funnel. He's going to take out all these buildings and maybe also kill the queen. There goes the king's ability. I'm going to use the queen over here. And we're going to get these dragons to go in there, guys. So balloons coming in just behind the dragons. There goes the Grand Warden. Baby dragons in behind it. You want to send in the Battle Blimp right at the end, guys. So there goes the Battle Blimp. There goes the first Rage Spell. And we want to make sure the Battle Blimp is under the actual protection of the Grand Warden. It's going a little bit far, so we're going to nicely drop it. There goes a Rage Spell and a Free Spell on that Inferno Tower, guys. Second Inferno Tower is going to get frozen as well. And here comes a Balloon Parade into the center, guys. Now, we've already taken out one of the Inferno Towers. There goes the second. And this is looking pretty good. So, let's hold back with these free spells. Sorry, these rage spells for now. We're going to drop one on these balloons. Damn, we wasted it. Okay. We wasted that rage spell, guys. But we've still got a lot more balloons coming in. The question is, can we somehow... Managed to get a three star here guys. So here we go balloons are about to come into the rage We're gonna drop down another one as they start to pour over these defenses guys dropping them pretty quickly But do we have what it takes to at least get the town hall? It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do it guys But we definitely gave this base a fair shot now the trick is with the battle blimp as I said to make sure You use the battle blimp whilst it's protected by the grand warden guys because once you've dropped those balloons they are going to get destroyed by any buildings around it. Any air defenses, any air mines, air bombs, everything is going to target those balloons. But as you can see, we've done a pretty damn decent job. Although we didn't get the town hall, we've still done 82%, guys. Let's see how high we can go. 82% is the final, and that's all that was left, that little corner of the base. So there it is, guys. That is the Battle Blimp, of course. That is being incorporated with an air attack. What we're going to do in one of the next videos, we're going to use a Battle Blimp with a ground attack and a wall wrecker with an air attack, guys. And we're going to see how those different combos work out. If you do want to see that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Now, to finish off this video, we've got 9.7 million gold. And we need to do an upgrade. We have got one builder free. The others are working on a hidden Tesla, a giant bomb cannon, and a barrack, guys. So... Let's spend this gold. What defenses can we upgrade? These are all too expensive. What about a cannon? Nope, too expensive. What about an air defense? Nope. What about a bomb tower? 
11 million, even a bomb tower is too expensive, guys. What about a Tesla tower? 10 million, we can almost afford a Tesla tower. Do we have any loot in the treasury? No, we do not. Do we have any magic items? Yep, book of heroes and book of spells. We can't use them, guys. Okay, let's look for an air mine. I know we've got an air mine. Here it is, 4 million, that is expensive, guys, but we're gonna do it. And that's gonna send the air mine to max level, and that's gonna take three days. So for now, my friends, we're ending this video here. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, I'll see you shortly, peace out.